we have just discussed what are bits and bytes. And you now know that a bit is actually smallest piece of information that could be sent over physical media, like wireless connection or wired connection. And now let's discuss what are actually PDUs, protocol data units. PDU is smallest piece of information that is related to specific layer in the OSI model. And that's why we could say that bits are PDUs for physical layer of the OSI model. When I say bits, I mean transmission of the data over the physical media, and I am talking about physical layer of the OSI model. Let's discuss other PDUs for other layers. Actually, you see that uh, I have divided uh, all seven layers of the OSI model to two different sections, media layers and host layers. And actually, first three layers of the OSI model, physical, data link and network, are media layers. And next layers, starting from transport and ending with application, are host layers. And that means that host, for example, mobile phone or computer, prepares some application data and afterwards sends it to media layers in order to get this data transmitted over the network. Great, let's continue with PDUs. If we are talking about data link layer, then PDU for this layer is frame. Frame is the smallest piece of information on data link layer. For example, Ethernet frame. On the next layer, network layer, PDU is packet. If I say packet, I mean network layer of the OSI model. And I could say IP version 4 packet or IP version 6 packet. Next layer transport has PDU called segment. And there could be TCP segments or UDP segments. Segment is the smallest piece of information on transport layer of the OSI model. And finally, data. Data is PDU that is common for those three layers – application, presentation and session. If I say data, I mean some data that is sent or received by specific application. And also here in this last column you see some examples of the protocols that are used on different uh, layers of the OSI model. Actually, we have discussed already some of them and they actually use different uh, PDUs. They work with different PDUs. For example, HTTP, FTP protocols use data and they transmit or send some data. On the next layer, data representation, we also work with some data. We encode some data, for example, using encoding UTF-8 or something else, or we encode some images using different encodings like JPEG and so on. Next layer, session layer, also works with data, data is PDU for this layer, and it is responsible for establishment of the session and session control. And examples of the protocols that are used on session layer are L2TP and H245. L2TP stands for Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol, and using such protocol you could establish tunnel between different endpoints in computer network and send some Layer 2 frames over this connection. Using H245 protocol we could control phone calls established over computer network. On the next transport layer we work with segments, so segment is PDU for transport layer, and here we use such protocols as TCP and UDP. On the next layer, network layer, such protocols as IP version 4 and IP version 6 work with packets. Packet is PDU for network layer. Next, data link layer is responsible for preparation of the data for physical layer and physical addressing. An example of the protocol that is used on data link layer is Ethernet. And PDUs for data link layer are frames. And finally, bits are sent over the physical media. And we could name here such protocols and technologies as Ethernet, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Great, that's our PDUs protocol data units that actually describe smallest pieces of information on different layers of the OSI model. And I'll use such terms as bits, frames, packets and segments a lot in this course. 
and uh, please remember them because when I'll say packets, I'll mean network layer of the OSI model. And I'll talk about IP packets, IP version 4 or IP version 6 packets. If I'll say frames, I'll mean that I am talking about data link layer of the OSI model. Great, that's all for this lecture and next let's compare OSI and TCP IP model. I'll see you next.